Welcome! The goal of this module is to guide you through the process of configuring a WPA2 personal SSID for a wireless deployment using Hive Manager Enterprise Mode. In this section of the demonstration, you will be shown how to create a network policy for wireless deployments that defines an employee SSID secured with WPA2 personal. To begin, for new installations, we have quick start policies for wireless deployments with Arrowhive APs, wireless and routing for use when you have Arrowhive routers with APs behind them, and a Bonjour Gateway policy for use when you just need Arrowhive devices for Bonjour Gateway services only. To start, I will clone a quick start policy which has some recommended settings already configured. Because this installation will be for APs, I will clone the quick start wireless only policy. Now I will enter a name for the network policy. I will call it Corp Wi-Fi. And now I'll keep the default Hive selected that I configured upon initial login to my Hive Manager. Now I'm in the Configure Interface and User Access Panel. At this point, and now I'll configure your clone. SSIDs. Please note that until you decide to update the configuration of your APs, the settings will not be activated. To start, next to SSIDs, I will click Choose. If the SSIDs are already configured, you can just select them and click OK to add them to the network policy. But because I have not created any SSIDs yet, I will click New. In the new SSID configuration, the Profile Name field is the name of the SSID profile stored in Hive Manager. The SSID field is used to set the actual SSID that is advertised on the air. The Profile Name field cannot have spaces in its name, but you can have spaces in the SSID field. By, by default, Hive Manager replicates the Profile Name field to the SSID field but you can modify the SSID field individually if you require spaces. The first SSID I will create will be for employees and I will set the profile name and SSID to Corp Wi-Fi. This SSID will be secured with WPA2 Personal. This encrypts all traffic and requires the users to enter a secure passphrase to connect to this SSID for employee network access. To ensure you enter a passphrase correctly, you can uncheck the box next to Obscure Password so you can see the passphrase in clear text as you enter it. I, however, will make sure mine is obscured. I will now enter a secure passphrase. Please make sure this is secure because it grants wireless access to your corporate network. It is recommended that you use upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols, and the longer it is, the more secure it is. I will enter the passphrase again to confirm. Now I will save the SSID. Ensure your SSID is selected, then click OK. Here you see the SSID profile name, and below it the actual SSID that is advertised. For most cases, these are the same. And you can also see the access security setting for this SSID. Now that the SSID has been added, an Add Remove link is now available under User Profile. You will need to add a user profile to define the user access policies for this SSID, which are assigned and enforced by the AP. Now I will click Add Remove. In the Choose User Profile dialog, I will create a new user profile. User profiles assign user policies to clients when they associate with an SSID. For example, 
You can assign a VLAN, firewall policies, QoS policies, service level agreements, and much more, which are enforced at the AP when the client associates. Each user profile can be assigned as a one-to-one -one mapping with an SSID, or if you are using Arrowhive's private PSK, radius authentication, or a feature called user profile reassignment, an attribute value can be returned after authentication to assign a user profile based on a user's group membership in their user directory, like Active Directory, Open Directory, or LDAP, based on their private PSK group, or based on a device type. This way, different groups of users can have different sets of policies even when connecting to the same SSID. You can have up to 64 different user profiles assigned to a single SSID. Here, I will create a simple user profile called Employees that will assign a VLAN to corporate devices when they associate with this SSID. Next, I will assign an attribute number value. For this user profile, I will use an attribute number value of 10. This attribute number value has to be unique, and I usually make it the same as the VLAN that will be assigned in this user profile. When a client associates with an SSID, the AP keeps a mapping of this number along with the client information in order to identify the user profile policies that must be enforced. The APs pass the attribute numbers to neighboring APs as part of each client's session state, so that each AP knows the user profile policies that must be enforced as clients roam among APs. Now I will specify a VLAN to assign to the stations as they connect to this SSID. I can enter the VLAN here, or from the drop-down list I can select Create New VLAN and then enter the VLAN that way. Optionally, you can click plus to create a VLAN object, but that is not necessary at this point. There are many other settings that can be defined in a user profile in the optional settings section, but for now, I will keep it simple and click save. Now I will select the employee's user profile and click save. Note that the attribute number shows up in parentheses after each user profile name. Now you get a visual of the SSID, user profile, and the VLAN that will be assigned to the users when they associate with this SSID. Though there are many other settings, you can click Choose to create a new SSID or click Continue to go to the panel to update the configuration of your APs. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please continue to the next video in the Getting Started video series. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. You can now proceed to the next video in the Getting Started series.